Hey guys, and welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos. In this video, I'm going to let make this desktop here look just like the Mac OS X Aqua, or Graphite, either one. But I'm going to go with the Aqua because I like it better, but you can actually change the theme inside. Anyway, let's go ahead and begin. Uh, we're going to need a few applications up start. Go ahead and go into Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, look for Avant, for Avant Window Navigator. Download this and this and install it on your computer. After that, go ahead and go into your Synaptic Package Manager. Uh, put in your password. Um, make sure you put in the correct password. And your little window will come up. And look in the quick search, put in Desk Bar. And download the Desk Bar applet. Go ahead and just click on the square mark for installation, apply, and you're done. And now those are the three of the simplest ones. The next one is the uh, global menu, which you can download and install from the Ubuntu Tweak application. I will give you an, uh, a link to the Ubuntu Tweak application in the information area underneath. Go ahead to applications, uh, go ahead and refresh, refresh the server or the applications and so on and so forth. Uh, let the information download. After it's done downloading, go ahead and click anywhere on the list and put in GNOME or GNOME, whichever, and then look for the GNOME Global Menu. Go ahead and check that, apply, and you're done. And that's basically it, how we install the basics of it. Now we just have to set everything up. Uh, we're going to have to install or download from online the Mac for Lin install version 1.0. I will give you a link underneath in the information area too. Uh, once you download it, make sure you put it on the desktop because all of my command or terminal references will be to the desktop. Uh, we'll be using the terminal, so that's how we're going to have to install this. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Uh, go ahead and right click and extract here. After that, we're going to have a new folder on the desktop, which is basically all the stuff in this folder or this file. Go into application, accessories, and let's start our terminal. Alright, uh, we're going to have to go ahead and do a few things first. Uh, we're going to have to make two folders, uh, just follow my directions, do mkdir.themes and mkdir.icons, make sure you spell them right, uh, all lowercase letters, they have to be lowercase. After you make those two, let's go and cd into our desktop. Inside we can cd into Mac for Lin, and there's going to be another Mac for Lin folder inside. And now we are at the root of our installation area. Pressing ls uh, gives us two, uh, all the files available to us, but we're only concerned with these two here, install and uninstall. So let's go ahead and begin from here. Let me make the window a little bigger so you can see. Now from here we're going to have to do chmod plus x mac for lin install and then space then mac for lin uninstall this is basically just going to set those two files as executable from here let's go ahead and start the installation uh, type in sh dot slash mac for lin install press enter and let the installation take over for now uh, pay attention to the actual stuff it'll ask you a few things here and there uh, we want to use metacity Compos compositor sure compositor whatever you say it and then go ahead and install more components and press Y keep pressing Y put in your password if you haven't already and you are done now it doesn't look completely like it because we just need the wallpaper so go ahead and right click on the desktop go to change desktop background go into backgrounds it'll be right there then when everything loads click on add a new folder will be available in your home directory called Mac for Lin v point, uh, version 1.0. Go ahead and go in there. Inside we have a few things we can use to set up our stuff. Go into for the wallpaper 1 for the uh, original or no, most known wallpaper for, <coughs> for Mac. We can close out of here now and let's begin our actual uh, desktop customization. Go on the bottom panel, right click and delete this panel delete we're not going to need that panel and now we're going to go ahead and get some stuff out of the way uh, get these icons out of the way get the little mail icon out of the way 
you most likely won't need it. I mean, of course, if you want to keep it there, go ahead. It's a very useful icon, I believe. But you don't have to have it there. And take off the very right, the little uh, logging, logging out stuff. Take that off. And unlock everything so we can move stuff around and set everything uh, the way we should. Um, go ahead and start by add a panel to the desk bar. Add that. It's a bit of a big icon. I don't quite like the way it looks, but we can't complain too much. Put it in the very corner and lock it there. Then lock everything else. And now the last part is add to panel, add the global menu, and move that to the very right, so close to the very right, and press lock. Now notice that everywhere you right click on the panel it will say preferences because this uh, global menu application here is taking over basically your whole bar. So you can move it to the very right and still have a little space to use the regular options but for now let's go ahead and move it back and keep it right about there. Lock it there. Alright so we've got our basic setup and we have to do one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the, my menu back, my application menu, and of course you can do this too. Our menu, add it there, and there's our menu. In the very left, let's go ahead and go to the menu, go into accessories, and go into the event window navigator. Inside here, we will pop open with a little bar on the bottom. Uh, right click on the bar, go to dock preferences, and we're going to install that theme for the on manager. Go into themes. We do have one theme already, it is the default theme, we want a different theme. So go ahead and add, go into the Mac for Lin version 1.0, go into on, and go into the Mac for Lin on what version 1.0, .tgz, and then once you double click that, it'll tell you that it's successfully added, click OK, and there it is, click apply, and voila. That's basically how that works. Uh, right from here on, you can add launchers from here, uh, basically add the application name, your icon, custom icon, and so on. You can add applets, which you can, I don't think you can do in the regular Mac operating system. You can add a bunch of applets. You can actually add a main menu applet. Uh, comics, you can do CPU frequency, desktop manager, etc., etc. A lot of these are very good applications. But I'll keep it as is. I mean, of course, I want to add, uh, we can add one thing actually, the trash applet. That's uh, one thing we should add. And there we go. Now from here on on, basically just go into your applications, into your accessories, and drag and drop. But for me it's not going to work because I'm recording and my video recorder doesn't let me drag and drop very well. But for you it'll work no problem, go ahead and populate your little bar down here as much as you want, put anything on there, and that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, everything works just like the Mac would. Uh, you have your global menu, you have your searcher in the very right, your task manager, and your date and time. And of course you have all the perks of Ubuntu as well, so it looks like Mac, but it works just like an Ubuntu. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be making more videos in the future, and that's it. Goodbye.